Welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I wanted to talk about the five coolest mods you can add to the Toyota Tacoma yourself. These are mods that you don't have to take anywhere with just a few rudimentary tools, simple tools that most people probably have. You can add all of these things yourself without having to pay that labor cost to have somebody else do it. Now, the reason I'm talking about these right now is because, of course, it's the Christmas season. So if you've gotten a little monetary Christmas gift, you might have a little extra money right now to go ahead and cool up, spruce up your Toyota Tacoma a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, the Sport Bar. I love the Sport Bar. I think it is awesome on the truck, and it also does have a use. Let's go around, we'll take a look at it real quick. Uh, first of all, I think it just looks awesome on the truck. I mean, it's cool, it's beefy, it just makes the truck look even a little bit tougher. Now, I mentioned it also has a purpose. There's actually a couple of purposes for it. One, of course, you can add lights to the front if you want to, or the top, I should say, whether you add reverse lights or front facing lights. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there that complain about the reverse lights on the Tacoma now. They're not bright enough. They don't light it up back there very well. You can put a couple of back facing or rear facing lights up there on the sport bar. Might be a little bit of a hint as to what I probably am going to do. But you can add some rear facing bright white lights back there just to light it up when you're going in reverse. You can hook them up to your reverse lights if you want. I wouldn't recommend you do that because you're going to blind everybody when it's just daylight outside. But have a little switch inside, flip it, and you can see everything back there. Secondly is another set or sets of, t of tie-down points. I mean, if you haul stuff frequently, you can use this bar to fasten things in. Whether you're hauling that big screen TV that you want to tie down on the sides and up top, or maybe something that just needs to sit up against the bed a little better. We do have tie downs. Of course, I have some aftermarkets you can see in there now, the red ones. But this gives you even more options when it comes to tying things down in the truck just to keep them from blowing out of there. Next up, as I back into the garage, black mirror covers. Love these things. And the good thing about black mirror covers is they go with every trim level. I think they would really look good with a white Toyota Tacoma if you're going for that kind of blacked out stormtrooper look. These are simple to do. Just pop off the originals, stick on the new ones. Very, very simple. Love these things on the truck. I think it adds a little bit of Euro sport. I know it's a Tacoma, right? But a little bit of Euro sport to the Toyota Tacoma. Next up. The Pro or Heritage Grill. Now, this is something that I know. Everybody in their grandmother's grandmother ads, right? But it looks so good on the Toyota Tacoma. I mean, you've got the Toyota lettering on there. You can put lights and things in it if you want. Of course, I've done that myself. Still missing the camera here. That's a future mod. Uh, and then even some colors. you got to put your colors on there, right? It's kind of like being in a Toyota gang, you know? You've got to put your colors on the front of the truck. Mine, of course, match things that I've had before. Orange was a previous theme, black for the blacked out, and then bronze to match the wheels and stuff down there. Now, while we're at the front of the truck, the bumper. I mean, this thing, the more I look at it, the more I love it. You know, I went round and round, looking for bumpers, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I had almost decided, and I probably would have, gone with one of those wraparound type bumpers, if the company that I was trying to deal with ever would have responded to my email. But they didn't. So, and I'm glad they didn't, because I prefer this one. It's the body armor, and you can tell because it's got the BA 4x4 in there. But it's the Highline Body Armor Bumper. It fits right where that black piece is that's on there now. I always did think that looked kind of out of place. This is awesome. And it is beefy. Anybody hits the front of this truck, or hopefully not you hitting the rear of somebody else, you're not going to do any damage down there. It's bolted right to the frame underneath there. And by the way, that cheapo aluminum cross or crash bar that was down there, 
You'd have been in trouble, I think, if you hit anything with the front of the Tacoma. Not to mention all of that plastic. All of the bits that were on there, a lot of them, I was able to pull off with just my hands. I mean, what do you think is going to happen if you run into anybody or anybody backs into you with that plastic stuff up there? It's probably not going to be a good day. Next up, and lastly, this is number five, are the D-rings. Now, if you go with an aftermarket bumper, Highline or other, a lot of them come with holders for D-rings. And if you don't know what a D-ring is, there are these red things right here. You put them on, they dress up the front of the truck a bit, and I think they look awesome. Now, if for some reason you want to stick with the OEM front end, you know, the plastic bumper, you can still put D-rings on the front. There's something called a demon bracket. If you look it up, you'll find it. They're out there all over the place. They go on underneath, right underneath where the crash bar is, and they replace a couple of bolts and stuff, and then you can mount D-rings underneath the truck. I've done it on a couple of my other ones. The Voodoo Blue I actually had, that was my 2020 Tacoma, which I love that color, by the way. I still miss that color, along with the Barcelona Red. That was an awesome color, too. You know what I really need is a warehouse, so I can just keep these trucks and drive them when I start to miss them. But, but I digress. D-rings look awesome on the truck. They just give it a little bit more oomph, a little bit more muscle on the front of the truck. Something you can do yourself. It's a simple bolt-on mod. All you got to have is a socket set and uh, hopefully something to lay on while you're underneath there trying to put those things on. Pretty simple to do. Now, of course, there are others. Those are the top five, I think. The coolest Toyota Tacoma mods you can add yourself. I could throw the exhaust in there, but that's really kind of a polarizing mod. I know a lot of people don't want to hear exhaust. Um, the lift, of course. Some people have done that themselves. That's a bit uh, beyond my comfort level. Wheels and tires, pretty much a mod that you have to go somewhere else to have done. I mean, unless you work at a tire shop or maybe you used to work at a tire shop and you've got all that equipment sitting in your garage, something that you're probably gonna have to go somewhere else to do. And of course, the lift and the wheels and tires are a couple of the best mods that you can do. One other one I'll throw in there, you can do it yourself if you have any skill, I don't, and that is window tent. That's uh, one of the first mods I always do. It's the simplest thing you can have done that really changes the look of the truck. It just makes it look cooler, and it does serve a purpose as well. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Is there anything I left off? The coolest mods you can do yourself for the Toyota Tacoma. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Mercedes-Benz, doing mods and things to that car, whole new uh, arena for me. And Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there, bye.